All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. I'm starting to prime my face with the uh, Benefit Professional Primer. Just smack that on all over your face. Then I am going with my Derma Blend Foundation using a Beauty Blender to beat that face. Beat that face, just smack it on like it's cake, it's cheesecake, it's pound cake, whatever. Guys, I'm gonna be going really, really fast with this video because I filmed one hour and I condensed it into seven minutes. So every product that I use in this video will be in the description box below. So I decided to pick up some white Halloween makeup from um, Spirit Halloween store just to, you know, create a nice base for the scales. Then I am going with these two shades from NYX Cosmetics. They are eyeshadows and I'm using just a regular makeup sponge. So I decided to go in on the forehead before going in with the scales. That way I do have a nice base at the bottom so I know that the scales will fully, fully be insured. So I ended up picking up these tights, these nylons, whatever you want to call them. I cut them and I'm just going to go ahead and throw it over my head. I know that you can find wig hats that are this exact material, a wig cap. So if you find one, go ahead and use it. Now, scales are a little bit... Okay, Google what a scale is supposed to look like. That's why I'm pulling mine up because I wanted to give it that appearance that they are going down on my face or up, whichever way. So I used a clip to pull that back. Now I ended up using three colors, black, navy blue, and teal. Whatever color you have works, go ahead and use that. Now when doing this technique, make sure that you are stamping your face. Do not move the netting around because it's really, really going to just completely ruin the whole technical aspect of this. So just make sure that it's on your face really, really tight. And if you have to do small movements or just stamp your face really slow or stamp it really hard, whatever you want to do, just do it. Just don't move it, okay? So secondly, I went in on the cheek doing like a contour thing, the exact same thing, just follow along like, oh my gosh, moment of truth. <laughs> Yes. Oh, I'm so obsessed. So you can see how it gives it that high low of a black, navy blue, and a teal. Okay. So moving on with the hairline, my hairline is a little bit whack. I don't know what's happening. So I just wanted to darken that up a little bit with a dark eyeshadow, just using any brush that you have. Um. Yeah, I had to take my hat off because it was getting annoying. So then I went in with the sponge. I don't know why I was doing this. I think I was trying to kind of smear it or smudge it a little bit but then I completely messed it up and I don't know what I did on my cheek here I tried to kind of diffuse it a little bit because I thought it was very pronounced and I just completely messed it up so here I go in with foundation trying to fix it so don't do that because you're just gonna mess it up okay so now I am going in to contour the other side of my face wait just kidding I am actually putting powder all over my face oh yeah cuz I'm setting the other stuff okay so now we're contouring the face and I saw youtuber Alex Faction who I love doing this technique if you actually pull it down it kind of creates more of that chiseled look and y'all know that Beyonce body did not come this year again I'm still chunky but you know what if makeup can make you look skinny in the picture then you do what you gotta do so now I'm gonna go ahead and use Laura Mercier setting powder to set my whole face except for the scales I really didn't touch that I ended up getting this NYX Cosmetics. I don't know if it's an eyeliner or lip liner, whatever it is, but I'm using it on my eyes, okay? So I used it as the base for the eyes, then going in with the same navy blue that I used for the scales and using the teal as well. Now, I am not a makeup artist. Do not judge my technique. I'm just doing whatever works for me, okay? Then I started contouring the nose down a little bit on that side, and then I went in with black on the outer corner and just like black and brown on the other side okay so i completely suck at putting on eyelashes as you can tell yes i am aware that the side of the scales is wonky that eyelash is falling asleep maybe i just didn't glue it so don't judge me but these are some fierce ass eyelashes i like yes go so now i'm gonna go ahead and just remove all of the setting powder that i put on my face and you are going to highlight the hell out of your face okay you are a mermaid a merman whatever you want to call yourself just highlight okay now on the other side where the skills are I was doing a little bit of a padding motion I didn't sweep the brush just because I don't want to move the scales so now I went in and you know I decided to do my lips as well because why not so let's do the lips 
and you know I started doing like this little kissy face that like you know kind of like Donald Trump and it was really creating more of like creases in my lips I mean but it looked cool so I went in with the teal the blue and the black at the end look that looks good as hell right okay so this is another technique that I saw Alex Faction use on one of his Halloween tutorials. He ended up using the gold one. This really is like tissue paper. The moment you touch it with water or glue or adhesive, it starts to really fall apart. So this was probably one of the most annoying things to put on my face and overall use. But I did find out that hairspray works very, very well. <laughs> Oh my god, what a hot mess I am. Hairspray actually worked very well. If you actually let it get a little tacky before, it's gonna stick a lot better. But I honestly just ended up slapping this all over there. I also ended up buying a NYX Cosmetics glitter because y'all know I love me some glitter and shiny like a superstar. So just slap that all over your face once again because you know we need to highlight even more. So now the best part, rubbing it all over your body. Yes. Yep, just pretty much the whole thing and then you get yourself a little crown and you are good to go. Now I created this bad boy all custom made. This is custom couture prodigy portilla right here. One of a kind, you cannot find this in stores. What you can find in stores is this little net that I also found at Hobby Lobby and you are ready to slay the world. You are ready to slay Halloween, your birthday party, whether you're wearing this look out to go grocery shopping to the mall, you're gonna go get yourself some booty that night, whatever it is, you just slayed them. Yes. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, click that subscribe button if you haven't done so. I upload videos every Wednesday. Well, I try to upload every Wednesday, but y'all know that don't work out. This is Prodigy Porcillo, and I approve this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's tutorial. Have a safe and happy Halloween, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Oh my gosh, that eyelash! <laughs> yes! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Damn, I cannot do this every day, yo. Ugh, I mean, actually I could. <laughs> oh, I know your costume ain't got nothing on mine right here. Look at this. Where's the tail, where's the tail?